Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Oh my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Aquarius, which cards resonate and how they do today because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments as well. Be sure to remember to use your intuition, Aquarius, when it comes to receiving this reading, right? Uh, if you do happen to enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe for today, Aquarius, I would really appreciate it as well if you were to give this video a like and subscribe subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way Aquarius but um I believe my tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought for today a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week but never making the choice in your life because I feel like it's your life to live not mine and not these tarot cards so all that being said Aquarius let's just get into your reading uh today so let's see where it is you guys are currently at Aquarius I want to see where your headspace is at how you guys are currently feeling right now at this current point in time let's see what's going on here for you guys Aquarius so you guys have two cards coming out for you guys the five both air cards so in your element naturally Aquarius uh, you guys have the five and knight of air or the five and knight of swords in normal tarot because swords is air energy so with the knight of air let me read them off to you this card says events that occur with great speed taking time to carefully review your options and creative solutions Aquarius as well as with this card five of air an unwise choice learn what you can from the situation and reviewing everyone's motives right now so Aquarius you guys are really in your head this week um definitely a heavy week in terms of self reflection little interruption as well i am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting ten thousand. so if you would like to enter the giveaway i'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh on their own personal reading whether it's live or recorded so all the information will be down below it's a quick simple process of joining my new discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading darling Election, Aquarius, I am definitely, ooh, as I hit my camera, darling, um, I am very much so getting Aquarius. Uh, you guys have a lot of wonderful ideas, darling, but it's not necessarily a way of executing them, necessarily, if I can be bold enough to say that. Um, it does definitely feel like there could be a sense of a little bit more refinement, Aquarius. I feel like a level of uh, stability would be invaluable for you right now in terms of uh, how would we say... You know, I feel like you could do some good with some good structure in your life. Maybe even bringing someone forward to help you with that structure if you um, are unable to or asking for help. Because at this time, it feels like right now for you, Aquarius, you guys are really in an equi uh, in an equative in and why can i not speak aquarius in a creative space right now uh aquarius where it's like you have a lot of beautiful ideas just not necessarily very good at executing those said ideas uh for yourself so perhaps maybe you need to start looking at uh you know uh, focusing in on one specific thing at a time each day, Aquarius. Maybe each day you dedicate to a specific thing, right? Uh, for my creatives out there, maybe you have one specific day where you dedicate to, um, I'm just being shown like cleaning up, <laughs> non-confrontationally, but confrontationally, I suppose, Aquarius with love is maybe some of you guys need to clean up your space right now. I do feel like uh, your environment, current environment right now could definitely use with a little bit more organization. Maybe, darling, even go to like Ikea or something, Aquarius, and picking up some organizational things or maybe even like a book or like a whiteboard or something to uh, assist you with just being able to organize your thoughts but also have a place to place them as well because it feels like you have a lot of good ideas but they just end up slipping away and they don't get utilized because of this uh, right so let's pull some tarot cards aquarius 
We have the Three of Wands in regards to this as well, uh, as paired with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse with the Sun card. So yeah, Aquarius, you have a lot of beautiful ideas. You have a lot of things that actually could be extremely fruitful for you, but it's like, I feel like the part that's lacking is the is like the execution is the actually committing to it and having keeping this energy for longer than a short period of time aquarius um i do feel like this is one of those things almost similar to last week's reading i believe for you aquarius where it's like i was kind of pushing for you guys to like don't be afraid to ask for help but also now in this sense aquarius um i feel like this is one of those things like you've you've been thinking enough you've been uh on the sidelines enough aquarius what like what is it going to take for you to start taking action right because things are going to be beautiful for you with the sun card like things would work out so gorgeous for you guys but you guys are just i don't know it feels like you guys are not taking advantage of something aquarius uh knight of swords coming in again for you guys really emphasizing a lot of things happening for you uh, Aquarius, but a lot of, I, I don't know, I just keep on seeing, I really want to suggest for you Aquarius is this week to uh, write down any ideas that you get uh, with this Knight of Swords as well. Something I do feel inclined to just give you guys a heads up about as well, Aquarius, is that uh, brace for impact this week. Brace for a lot of things to be happening. So naturally, when you have all this forward motion happening, because with two different Knights coming forward, two or two different Knight of Swords coming forward for you guys, this really is emphasizing fast forward movement, but it's definitely fast forward movement that is the most influenced by what's going on up here, right? What's going on mentally. So during this like easily influenced state that you might be in, right? You might have some really high highs where you make a lot of ground and then you have some really low lows where you just don't do anything, right? So very much so like sporadic. I feel like if I were to look at your social medias, uh, Aquarius, or like your to-do list, right? Like, I feel like I can look at your stuff and be like, there'd be a small uh, window of where you're super active and then just like silence again. And I feel like this has been going on for you guys for a little bit now, Aquarius. It's not a bad thing, right, necessarily. Um, but I feel like it just is more reflective on needing to perhaps figure out, Aquarius, how it is you can maintain like a productive state, right? What can you do to protect your... I keep on referring to you like your mental health, and I'm not trying to say anything about y'all's mental health, Aquarius, of course, but um, see what can keep you guys further motivated, keep you push, pushing forward, right? For me personally, at one point in my life, Aquarius, I was heavily into quotes, still am into quotes, darling, um, but not nearly as much, but quotes played such a pivotal role in my life for a while because what I was lacking in motivation or what I was lacking in positivity for my own life to really keep myself cheering myself forward, I went to quotes and that's what kept me inspired. I would remind myself what it is I've been putting myself through this entire time for what it is I'm trying to accomplish, right? So I feel like that's what it is could be most helpful for you guys, Aquarius, is to remind yourself what it is that you're working towards, right? It's very easy to feel defeated when every single day you're waking up and just taking on the constant battles, right? Um, but I do feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's really, still feel the same way with my Aquarius, is you guys always have had a soft spot in my heart where it's just like, I feel like someone needs to just keep you on foot, like someone needs to consistently be snapping fingers and reminding you how lovely you are, Aquarius. Um, but also just getting you back on track. You know, so I have to say it now, Aquarius, but um, something that's just like coming to mind, and I haven't played uh, Zelda in so long. Um, I believe it's called Zelda, it's not Link. Link is the individual, but it's Zelda, the game is called Zelda, um, where it's during, I'm pretty sure it's like through most of the Zelda origin story or the storylines. I guess it doesn't really matter, but in the one that I'm thinking of, uh, I think it's Ocarina of Time, where they have a little wisp or a little something something. Y'all will know. Well, you'll get the reference if you get it. If you don't, then you won't anyways, no matter if I even think of the proper name for it. But it's like the little fairy thing that's like, oh, hey, listen, right? I feel like that's something that you guys need in your life is someone saying like, hey, listen, um, you know, getting you out of your head, Aquarius, and just getting, I don't know. I just feel like a lot more organization, a lot more compartmentalizing could be effective for you, Aquarius, this week, just because of how 
uh, I don't want to say chaotic this week looks like to you, just how mm, how many different moving parts are happening for you this week, Aquarius. So let's go deeper into this. How is this storyline going to continue on for you guys? the magician card so once you guys do actually formulate like a schedule for yourself once you know start at, uh, applying a little bit more organization that's when you are able to thrive as a magician aquarius as a magician they are the master of their own reality right they're actively creating so in this sense again do what it is that you can do whether it's in your environment because i really do feel like some of you guys could just really use like cleaning up your workspace because the clutteredness is what's also making you feel deterred maybe even just dedicating a day aquarius to just cleaning up your space cleansing your space darling rather than trying to fit it all in once dedicate a specific day just to that you know maybe some of your work will end up lacking just because you're making all this time for cleaning but view it as like an investment for your long term right view investing in your environment and what would help you be more productive take a single day just dedicate to that and your future days are going to thank you for it because you're just going to allow so much more productivity in your life as a magician naturally aquarius the star card this comes in for you guys again and y'all already know aquarius i'm gonna i the earring darling y'all know i have a soft spot for aquariuses but i'm not even wearing a libra zodiac tarot card in my ear it's an aquarius one the star card coming forward darling so as a magician you're actively working towards this thing that you know whatever that star represents for you Aquarius, you know, the star for some of y'all, maybe, you know, this in hopes of uh, being like an author, right? Or whatever it is you're trying to create, the magician card is actively showing to you that you make a lot of ground if you were to, again, set your environment up so the magician could be conducive. Five of Cups comes forward to you guys, Aquarius. Now, seven of pentacles as well in the reverse now this is the distraction this is part of what's keeping you guys down as well aquarius because in this sense um something has happened that you kind of had to pick up uh, or uproot some in initial investments that you put into something and kind of have to move ship you know you're moving ships moving gardens with something and that's where the heavy distraction is um some of you aquariuses may still be like trying to get your bearings in, a, in in your current environment even and trying to just get your roots in settled in so you actually can focus on creating i do feel like heavily that the, the distraction of like your home life or like your environment is really what's taking up so much of your energy aquarius um so really look into uh just doing what you need to do right to just get more comfortable in your current space even if it's just like grounding or what have you i feel like the more comfortable you are in your current space on things and addressing like the things that are just lingering in your head um the better off you'll be so let's do best case scenario for all of this darling we have the four of cups coming in here now we have the lovers card coming in here as well as the two of cups in the reverse okay aquarius this is an interesting dynamic so there's a situation for this right with this four of cups energy you're i almost want to say aquarius you know this is really going back into your five of air your five of swords where you're reviewing everyone's motives in this sense the best case scenario in this regard is where you kind of end up making the hard choice and dipping out with something right and i feel like it's very reminiscent of your five of cups and your seven of pentacles in the reverse this is where you make the hard decision two of cups comes in you know this is going to be another very specific message aquarius but maybe you know the things that you invested your pentacles into right you've been just it sounds really brutal aquarius <laughs> i hope i don't hurt y'all's feelings in this um but it does feel like some of you guys are like feeding energy into like a dead situation a dead relationship now when i say relationship i don't just mean romantic i mean ro romantic platonic darling we have many relationships in our lives it feels like you guys have been feeding dead like a bunch of energy into a dead situation um and you guys perhaps have been just in this state of denial 
and feeling like or and realizing that you have to kind of keep it moving transition on from the situation that you invested those seven of pentacles into if you want to go further into your goal um i don't even want to say it's like a dead relationship in your life but maybe someone that just isn't that conducive for where it is you're trying to go as your star darling remember where it is you're trying to reach out to maybe you're in an environment with like a roommate perhaps that just makes it very hard for you to be productive or maybe you're in a relationship that just doesn't understand your passions or what have you i feel like you guys are having to make the tough choice and like keeping it moving all right we have the justice card coming in as well as the fool card in the reverse for you guys aquarius so i do definitely there's definitely some type of energy that's blocking you from uh going into this new journey this new path for you aquarius i do definitely feel like with this justice card in the reverse there's something's keeping you out of balance for you to fully step into this new chapter of your life this new journey in your life as the fool and i feel like it's kind of connected to the two of cups in the reverse and the four of cups there's something that you really <sighs> It's similar to some of the other uh, tarot readings I've done today for like the fire signs and um, even the uh, for Gemini, I feel like uh, Aquarius, where it's like being hung up on some old energy, trying to make some old energy relevant into your life now. But it's because of this, like there's just like one singular mass of a blockage in your life that's slowing you your progression down into stepping into this new way of life for you. Uh, Three of Swords confirming to top this energy off. This is definitely reminiscent of um, ah, whose reading was it? I think it was Sagittarius's actually. So if you have Sagittarius in your chart, Aquarius, look this up because they have the Three of Swords encompassing their energy as well right on top i'm pretty sure is them and so yeah this is all based on like clinging on to something that is almost only now just bringing you pain aquarius so again it does feel like it's a situation that you don't necessarily want to be part ways with but it's one of those kind of uh tough pills to swallow situations i feel aquarius where it's just like uh, yeah it's time for this is kind of done now right maybe you have some some type of relationship in your life that enables you to not be as productive even because i don't think this is anything there's nothing like shady about this energy it just seems to be like a mm, just not conducive anymore aquarius so yeah with all this now aquarius let's now get into your romantic and social situations this week right your romantic and platonic uh situation this week aquarius let's see what's going on there we have the Six of Water, Six of Cups coming in here. Memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. So some type of past connection. Uh, is this is this like a past connection coming back into your life, Aquarius? Is this what's going on? So I know last week's reading, Aquarius, and I do strongly suggest you to check out last week's reading if this resonates as well. Um, last week's reading for you, Aquarius, there's something that you kind of were calling quits on that you now are dabbling into that you saw actually was a little bit beneficial. So is this reminiscent of that? Knight of Swords coming in again for you. Third time's a charm, darling. Uh, with that voice crack, I just did. Knight of Swords in the reverse. And the Justice card coming in. Wow as well and these two cards wanted to both come forward eight of cups as well as the king of coins in the reverse for you so this is big aquarius in terms of some type of social situation for you guys this is what again what i was covering really in terms of your general portion where it's like you have like this knight of swords coming in in the reverse though so it seems to be like something that's from your past or something that you've had a lot of history with that you've been fighting on leaving because of this eight of cups in the reverse um aquarius what needs to be brought into balance oh i was calling this the uh did i even say this is the king of swords i think i did king of swords in the reverse and the justice card what needs to be brought to balance is you finally speaking your truth aquarius i feel like some for some of you guys there's just some type of a social connection in your life that you are not really um you're biting your tongue a lot um and you're not really taking a stand speaking uh speaking what it is that you're feeling with confidence right because maybe on some level you're not sure if you're the one that's in the wrong right um but it does feel like there's some type of situation that you just have been really fighting to not transition from but it actually just isn't conducive for your life and where it is that you're trying to go with your life aquarius so 
It's very interesting. Let me know how you guys end up handling that situation. I am just noticing, Aquarius, like you you guys are getting a lot of air cards just in general. Um, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of air cards. So this is really just showing to me this week already can just seems to be just like, I feel like I even made the statement earlier where it's just like an extremely like mentally taxing week for you guys, Aquarius. <sighs> but you guys have been having that for a while now. So now let's get into your situation for your career and financial, uh, financial situation, Aquarius. So going on with this air energy, we have the eight of air, the eight of swords coming in. Uh, this card says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action, Aquarius. So definitely, um, in regards to your career, there's, or in your money situation, there's some sense of like, I don't want to say self-sabotage going on, but I feel like this is kind of reminiscent of what I was trying to get across to you guys, Aquarius, at the beginning of your general portion of the message, uh, where it's like, I feel like your environment is what's slowing you down, what's keeping you weighed down in terms of progressing, Aquarius. So let's get some clarifiers on this. Do a quick flow we'll shuffle again. This card wanted to come out. Two of swords in the reverse. More sword, more air energy, uh, Aquarius. So definitely this is all about committing down like a path, even if you feel like you're not ready for it. Uh, we have the hanged man in the reverse, no longer feeding energy into like a dead situation anymore. And then we have the six of pentacles. This is almost now Aquarius. This is a week where you guys need to start figuring out um, where it is you're investing your time into and finding. <sighs> I can't help but feel like Aquarius, you guys are just starting to figure out how to be more efficient with your time and starting to value your time more. Um, the chariot card in the and upright as well, which is a beautiful card. You guys are starting to, you're starting to see things differently. I definitely see like in your career, you guys are about to make a breakthrough, uh, for sure. Um, but it's almost like through like that break, the breakthrough may not just look as dramatic or flashy compared to other people more so just because this seems to just be all like an internal thing for you, Aquarius. For your financial, beautiful. Making a breakthrough, absolutely. Um, but this breakthrough all seems to be internally. It doesn't seem to be like any type of physical flashiness. Um, it just seems like your perspective, things are just like being seen uh, differently for you, Aquarius. So yeah, that is the reading that I have for you this week today, uh, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Remember that I'm doing my giveaway. If you would like to have win a private reading with me, be sure to check out the comments down below and to join the Discord. Um, also, uh, Aquarius, if you'd like a, to book a personal reading with me, my web, my website's down below, simplyvelka.com. All my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, darling, everything is Simply Velka. Um, and also, if you have a friend that's into tarot at all, uh, Aquarius, be sure to let them know about my reading, my channel. I cannot speak anymore, apparently. And even if they're not into tarot cards, Aquarius, send them this video. Oh my gosh, I'm going to just end this because I cannot speak anymore today, Aquarius. But I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. I love you so much. Bye.